How's it going everyone? Ah, let's see in this part we're gonna get this completely finished up. Uh, in this video uh, we have to get our SD card reader working uh, which I think is just a simple fix. I think I have it plugged in the wrong port. We'll get this working and we'll get this light taken care of. Not real thrilled about that and we may do may do something else too. We'll see. Depending on how long. If it's, if it's going to end up being too short of a video, I'll go ahead and uh, we're going to do some other other things to this to make it look a little better. We're going to, I got to wash it, uh, get the lid cleaned up. Uh, I'm not real happy with uh, how the lid come out. Uh, so at some point, uh, probably not in this video, I'll, I'll fix another lid. For it, or I may just leave it alone I think we'll see so let's get started uh, get this shut down uh, get it flipped over get the lid off of it and see what we got to do here like I said I'm pretty sure I just have that plugged in the wrong place and the light itself uh, it's supposed to I had this side hooked up so uh, when the hard drive was working that would flash but uh, I don't know if I didn't get a good connection or or what but we may do something different there I'm not real happy with with it being red all the way around I, I don't know we'll see alright I'm gonna get you set up in the stand we're gonna get the top off of this and get started I'll get this flipped over here in a second as soon as I get this Get the right screwdriver. Still don't have the right one. Can't put these in real tight because you're missing the the support on the inside that uh, these screws went up through the the DVD drive and the hard drive caddy and all that but you can put them on and at least it'll hold it hold the top down and that's my my speakers purring Now, if I'm not mistaken, this white cord should go on the USB. One, two, three, four. USB, yeah. That's where that one should go down on there and not on the white. What is the white? The white is calm. Com four or com six one no com one. Okay, that's pretty simple, huh? Now, now, now. Uh, let's see what we need to do. Is we got to get this front face plate back off. So we can work on on the power on the lights. Uh, release that little clip.
Okay. We can. Let's just unplug this, doesn't it? Yep. That's got a little. Clip, and we can pull that off. That. Now we can release that little circuit board our panel. Okay. Now we can still, we can plug it in. Alright, let me see what we need to do here. We can do a couple of different things. We can run a, a little jumper wire from one side the other side of the light that way it'll light up both side both both sides of it mm -hmm. uh, let me take a peek at this and decide what we're gonna do okay <clears throat> I decided I'm gonna put a, a reset on this motherboard since we have the eject button here on our little panel we can make that our reset which would be the big one uh, I have another harness with on off switch and the LEDs on it uh, out of another computer and I'm gonna what I'm doing is I'm releasing the clips in this plug so we can just slide them down into our our plug right where the reset is. Now these just have a little a little tab that you have to get under and lift up and it releases the the prong or whatever let's see we're, I'm doing two different colors here colors that are not on on our other one which is going to be our green and our white yeah, now I got to get them out of this Ain't gonna be too different. So I'll leave a little bit of a tail on those LEDs in case sometime we want to reuse them for for something else for another project. Okay, 
Now I'm going to have to cut my zippy that I tamed all them down with. So we can get that out of there. And we'll do the same. Same with this one. A little cold out here today, so my hands are not moving real, real good, <laughs> real, real well. So kind of bear with me. Okay, now on our on our plug, the on off is your red and your black. I'll zoom you in a little bit. Red and black is our power, and right directly across from it are the is the reset. All we're going to do is we're going to slide these in, put the green one, I didn't ruin them. I want them out. The green one's a little, a little sloppy. We we'll just have to make sure we get that one. Now, what we have to do is hook it up. Let's see. Uh, we'll put the green one. Let's see our eject, which will be our reset. Run stand along. And it's this empty one right here next to the yellow. All right? Eject. Here. It's up around and it'll be the one, two, three, fourth pin in. One, two, three, four. And of course, those are gonna, my 
wires are just a little bit shorter. Okay, then all I have to do is solder the white one on the back. And that should give us our reset. Okay, what I found out is my uh, reset wouldn't work the way I had it hooked up. This uh, has a ground that comes off of the motherboard and the reset needs to just touch one another. I think it's a, a ground itself, you know, or, or whatever. Uh, the motherboard has floating ground, and so the, your little board here, once the way I had it wired up, it'll have a ground running all the way through it, uh, which was okay for our light. Uh, I'm not too sure about the power switch. It was working, but I'm gonna, I'd like to isolate them both both switches and then I can solder my wire onto the backside terminal and get that to work because I only had like 1.84 volts going to our lights and I'm kind of wondering if I need to isolate the, the power switch as well I don't know if that's uh, what per, you know what the motherboard produces to, to light your LEDs so what I'm going to do is try and isolate. I have, this is a another uh, switch panel that I had out of another one. So we're going to kind of experiment on this one and see if I can get it to, see if I can isolate the switch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the, cut the trace, or cut the, uh, ground plane here and cut it across here and here I'm gonna have to start here and come all the way down and that'll be for our reset and we'll see if we can't get it to work that way
<laughs> the only problem is <laughs> I cut the trace for our top leg. That's good. Got continuity there. Okay, ground runs around into here and nothing. Well, which is not a not a total loss because we can solder to the top too. And we can do the same to the bottom if I end up cutting a trace on that one. Alright, so you see what I'm doing. I'm gonna do the bottom switch the same way and isolate the power switch as well. That way I want to see if I can get uh, more than 1.84 uh, volts to our LEDs. So I'll bring you back once I get this. I'll probably just go ahead and cut not even worry about cutting that that little itty bitty trace there. If I, you know, it's no big deal. We can solder to the leg. Okay. All right, now let's see what we got going on. Plug that in. Turn our power supply on. Now this should be power. And wait for it to boot, to post. I want to see what voltage we have coming to our LED now. Still only 1.84 volts. And I don't think that's enough voltage to power both of these. Well, it would help to 
excuse me, if I plugged in our monitor. Kick you a little bit too. You don't mind, do you? for a second. All right, you were right in the way. Okay, now, now we're booted up. Can you... There we go. I'll get you up there a little ways. Okay, so now our power's working. This is our eject, which I hooked up to our reset. So let's see if it'll reset now. Yes. See, it's a lot quicker to hit the reset to get out of a game than it is to shut it down, wait for the computer to cycle down and then turn it back on. This way we can just hit our reset and it'll go back and reset it and go back to our main menu. That was the whole idea doing that. So we could use, so you don't have to shut it down to get out of a game. Because I noticed a lot of these games, um, the ESC on the keyboard won't let you out of the game. You have to physically shut the machine down in order to, to get out of that game. Now, if is that normal? I um, don't know. I haven't looked into it enough. All I knew is I wanted a reset button on it. All right, now that's one problem out of the way. We got that taken care of. Can set that up there. Now, I think we will have a little fun and dress this up a bit. Let me get you back down. What I am thinking is, see, we have our, this is our front panel. And I have some LEDs on a roll here that are 12 volt. Uh, we can get 12 volt out of our off of our power supply. We have a out a plug right here that we can steal 12 volts off of in our ground, and we can power up some LEDs. And I thought, if we put these down below here, and we, with our panel on, we'll have a nice little blue glow underneath. Because we have these, the vents, which there's plenty of vents on this, uh, case so we don't have to worry about vents because both sides of the top are all vents 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 and what we'll do is I have to modify the bottom a little bit here because I want those LEDs to sit right in between all of those so we'll have to do a little a little cutting, a little more cutting, and we will get these put in here. All right, I'm gonna do a little modification here, and I don't think you've watched me 
cut on this thing before, so I don't think you really need to see me cut on it some more. So I'll get get it cut <coughs> and get it put in there where we want it, and then we'll figure out how we're going to attach them, which I have a, a pretty hot solution that I think will work just fine.
Okay. I put a pigtail on the other end. I used yellow because it's going to be 12 volt. Now I have to this has to be as flat as possible in order for it to go up underneath. So we're going to see how much I can burn myself. Oh, come on. Ooh, there we go. And of course, it's about the time you run out. It's a little warm. this you're able to see and my hand is in the way See how flat we got it. Could have been a little, a little flatter. All right. right there. The rest of it looks good. Yeah. And yes, I put the pigtails on the right end. better.
bunch. See, that's how somebody ain't got their phone. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I heard it ringing. I said, oh, I feel like I go out in the cold. Okay. Okay, I'll be in a minute. Okay. All right, what do you think? Hmm. I think it looks kind of neat. Okay. Uh, found something else that I... I was digging around a little bit ago. Uh, trying to figure out if I should put a fan in here or not. And I, I think... I think we're going to be okay. There should be enough ventilation. And I found this wireless desktop network card. And we can put him in right here. So I think we'll go ahead and make this wireless as well. That way we don't have to hook it up to the another cord. It's bad enough we have enough cords sticking out of it. Uh, so this shouldn't take much. Uh, we've done this before as far as putting in the, the video card so now I know what the hell we need to do and we can get that put in. So without further uh, ado, let's get that put in. I told you on Sunday coffee break that this just kind of keeps snowballing. I keep figuring out things to do. So we just kind of keep keep moving forward with more stuff on this. Let's see, we need to see I'm, I cut holes slots like I did for this one it kind of it supports at least we can use this support and I try and make them tall enough to where when you put the lid on it it actually kind of pushes down on it as well so we need that marked let's see we need where's that gonna be right on the edge of this. Let me let me point your head down a little bit. There's a right along the edge here all the way down inside is where that's gonna sit. And we gotta be careful. At least it's only plastic, and we're not... Not kicking up metal. I think one more. That sucker's all covered in plastic.
just barely. Perfect, I say. Perfect. Alright, now we need to need a little mark. We're to cut that off. Let me Yeah. Let's use a Sharpie. Looks like about Right there. Well, come on. Okay. This guy. All right, I'll get this cut, cut off, and then I'll bring you back. Okay, 
I think we're done on the inside for good. Now we can get our cover on.
I had to go back to the original um, power board. This is the one I, I cut up trying to get the reset to work on the eject. Well, it worked for a little while and then it started, uh, just kept on restarting. Uh, even when you turn it on, it would stay on for a little bit and then it would restart, 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 and then shut down and then wouldn't do anything. So I went back to the original board and I put a, a little external reset on it. Uh, it kind of hangs out there, not real, real pleased with it, but I just, uh, the fact that just getting, getting this moving along, uh, which isn't bad. You know, it, it looks nice. So you got a little, it's got a, a wart on its forehead. Uh, it'll be fine, I guess. <laughs> Not real happy, but you know, that's, that's the best we could do at the moment. Could do better. Uh, I did get the SD card reader working. It was it was just plugged in the wrong place. I plugged it in and now it works and it'll read SD cards. That way you don't have to always use a thumb drive. You can put your stuff on a I can put my stuff on a SD card and put it in. Since I have plenty of those for my cameras and that I have a couple fours and a and a sixteen which uh, is not big enough for running this camera. You know you're constantly changing SD cards out so uh, I can use those instead of thumb drives all right now I think this one this video has been long enough and I'm gonna have to cut it here and move on to another one where we get all the games working better so I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And if it's not too long, I'll add more stuff onto the end of this and you won't even hear this. So until next time. See ya.